Hey, sorry, good morning. Um, it's me again, Meli Kachin, and today I would like to uh, go back and to introduce one of my games, uh, I mean back to 2009. Uh, I had played this game against the Dutch Grandmaster uh, Luke One Valley, and uh, uh, the black pieces, uh, the game was very interesting for uh, many concepts. Uh, most important was last round, it will teach uh, how to play in last round situation and how to, let's say, cool down your mind, uh, how to take away emotions uh, uh, from your game and just simply play chess. Uh, another thing is uh, important part of that game was uh, not many times, at least me, myself, uh, was able to um, find exactly the right line to play against uh, world-class uh, grandmasters. And this time I got lucky. So when I had the black pieces, I have a very, very, very short time to prepare for the game. And um, when I would prepare for the game, uh, I find out um, I knew it before. So Luke Van Valley uh, knows very well all his opening lines. And in fact, for me uh, to go in my, let's say, main weapon against the D4 and to play, let's say, Grunfeld, I wasn't really ready to do that. So I decided to go and play here uh, my second pretty much weapon, uh, d4, d5, and I played slot. So what I found out, um, Luke Van Valley had a few games in uh, slot with one particular line. And I thought, well, he might repeat the same line again. Obviously, I need the other line just in case, but I had a strange feeling it's going to be exactly the same line as I prepare against him. In fact, as I mentioned before, I actually um, been prepared for the game and I had about first 20 moves on my board at my room. So I kind of was really ready to play that game, that position. So we had here knight f3. Uh, for some uh, people, just to tell you, so DC leads us to play uh, Slav and move E6 will give us a uh, semi-Slav. Uh, idea of E6 also, very, I mean, interesting move, but obviously the opening move. It's just to prepare uh, capture of DC, which pretty much force White to decide between uh, play very sharp Bishop G5, but winning, or to play here E3, transpose the game to Meran. So my way, it's a bit different. D takes C4, it's actually a real slav. Uh, again, uh, white could play uh, Gambito style, they could play here E4. It's called the uh, famous Geller Gambit, uh, which, which is very, very, very sharp also, because we have the situation when white trying to immediately attack. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.